what up what up what's good welcome to the video we are the erics if you haven't already go and hit that subscribe button smack down that notification bell that way you're updated the next time eric posts a new video today 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 it is september the third it's the third of the month wake up wake up wake up it's the third of the month y'all already know what the third of the month is y'all it's the third of the month of September 2024, and I just want to say what's up to everybody. Hope everyone's had a great Labor Day weekend. I know I did. We did a lot of things, went to the movies, had a cookout, just doing family stuff, you know. But in the midst of that, I got sick, so I, I'm feeling really, really sick today, y'all. I woke up, whole body's aching, back is killing me, man. But I don't want to bore you with my problems. Let's react, baby. That's what we're here for, to react. We're here to get a reaction on, baby. So let me put up my banner. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a premiere because I didn't really feel like doing a live because of the way I've been feeling. I might have to, like, stop it here and there. i just been feeling really freaking sick, y'all. My bad. My, my bad. But happy September 3rd, y'all. It's September 3rd. Welcome to all my mods, my members, my followers. I love y'all. Anyone that's in the bushes, welcome. Free play gang, welcome, baby. All right. So I really was like, you know, I wanted to go back into my old videos because I've been trying to look for this certain video and I cannot find it nowhere. So I've been looking and looking through all my shit because I have so much shit. I can't find it. Man, I can't find it. It's the live where it's the live where Jasmundo was live and Chris was there and they started talking about dads and he said my dad was never there or something like that and then she was trying to like make him reconnect with his dad if y'all know which one i'm talking about let me know i think he i don't even remember what the hell he was wearing all i remember was he was pissed and i think it was sometime around september 2023 but i don't think i have it i don't i've been looking if anyone remembers what i'm talking about hit me up because i know she took off all them Chris videos, but girl, we got them. All the reactors got them. I know the re I know somebody got it. If I don't have it, I know somebody had it. So I was looking through my stuff and I was like, oh shit, I want to revisit some of this shit. Some of the stuff that we reacted to and throughout the years was funny. I thought so. So let's see, which one was I gonna look at first? Let me play my disclaimer first. Damn it. Let me get my disclaimer. Where you at, baby? All right. So this one is over on the Eric's channel. And I'm also going to watch some that's on my other channel. We're going to go back and forth. But this one was the things we talked about during the recap of Jasmundo's birthdays. Oh, maybe this, I think this is when they went to Houston. Let me make it bigger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to another vlog. So, so sad. Don't know where we're going, but we're going somewhere. Blue cheese. I swear I'm addicted to blue cheese. I gotta stick to the paper like mostly bitch about my chicken like it's a two feet. Y'all, I really want I wish this thing buttoned up to hide my my belly, but it doesn't. But y'all wants to put up. Yeah. This is the outfit today. Home, your man is talking to his homeboy <laughs> while you, I, I mean, this whole trip, 
I hope he was really taking her out. Like, I hope it wasn't just to go with your homie. And because it was, it, it's his friend's birthday, too, you guys. His friend's birthday. Yeah, he talked loud, huh? Okay. Hey, OOTD. OOTD, girl. Okay. Look. And, and trust and believe, you guys. I really did want him. I really thought he took her out or she took him out to Houston. So they could spend time together. They had no kids. There's no distractions. Just them two. But then when I found out it was his homie's birthday as well as his and hers. Ooh, baby. Yeah, I don't know where we're about to go, but we're going to go get something to eat. Um, might go to the gallery. And, you know, have some fun. I'm enjoying myself. I'm really enjoying myself um, with Bay and his best friend and her, his wife. It's really swagged out. For me to be bringing them gas out, I still got some nice stuff in the trunk. I'm off the 44 and blow up back out. Hey guys, so Did I'm waiting. You missed them days, Jazz. Going to the truck. Um, I'm about to look up places. Um, to see where we're gonna go. And right here, I don't even know why Jasmine about the need to put wine tasting. Like it was, you know, when you go into a winery and they have like an actual wine tasting and stuff. But I guess this was her first time ever seeing something like this. So maybe she's like, hey, this is a wine tasting, you know, whatever. She was really tasting that. She was like, let me taste it with my front tongue, my bitter side. Child, that was funny. I lied. I think it was nasty. Damn, he said I lied to her. Look at how quick it was for him to lie. Yeah, yeah, that's good. He said, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. Okay, what was it? I want him lie to her. That's good. He said that's good. That's spice. That's spice. I was just thinking that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. We are. Well, we were just trying some wine, and just as y'all saw. I didn't think it was nasty. <laughs> He's all that shit's nasty. I, I I lied to her. Did it taste like um? What's the one that tastes like cinnamon? Uh, damn. And she just passed it. Fireball, fireball. I like fireball. Fireball is pretty good liquor. I liked her. I like any kind of wine. He said I liked her. And right now we are looking at like oh, liquor. And so we are looking Child. for some liquor for later on at the hookah lounge. It's I've never been. Point. So this is my first time going. Y'all know she I don't was at the liquor do things. Store tasting but... samples. Yeah, she was tasting samples. There you go. Just because of this one. Why she gulped it? She thought it was a shot. Well, y'all know. I can handle my liquor. I can. I really can. It's sad because she really was so excited to be there with him. And it's just sad because he really wanted to go chill with his friend, you know. That's when he had the money to do it. What you shop for, Jasmundo? Let me see. I want to see. They're at the mall. Hey okay, guys, so we're at Seven Spice Cajun Food. Yeah. yeah. I love Cajun food. We got a few shots, so I'm really kind of, okay. you know, <laughs> I'm feeling it a little bit. Now. My, my um, romper, but I'm feeling it a little bit. Talk to the kids too, and checking on them, seeing how they're doing, and this my baby. But you know what? I'm gonna nice. just try to focus on enjoying time with Bay. My birthday. 
Yeah, because I really miss my kids. Y'all know me. I'm you shut up. Him so much, oh so my god, that scared me. I'm so fucking scared right now. You shut up. Miss them more. The mommy and me kicks in. But we're about to see what they got. Wanted to try something with this lighting. So we wanted to try something different, like something we have never had before. And instead of like going to a regular like restaurant that we've had. Before. Yes, I know. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. All right, you guys. So we're about to go somewhere else because a lady came in here and she said <laughs> she said that they this location actually don't give a lot of food. And she, just, hold on, wait, let me. She changed. She changed my mom because she was more like. This is her first time being here and her last because at this she location like, she said she don't like how they how they give you your food and they don't give you enough food for what the price that you're paying for. So oh. and I'm feel the same way. Like the price I'm paying for, I should get a good portion of my food. So damn boy. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go. I told her, I said, man, let's just go. It wasn't about him. It's it was supposed to be about her. It's her birthday. Yeah, be frustrated and be like, damn, I paid for this much for this. <laughs> you should but but you shouldn't care how much money you pay for it. It's it's, it's her birthday. If she wants to eat there, Relax. you eat there. That's sad. Oh, I ain't gonna pay for money, and I ain't get the portion that I how need. How much food did you have to eat? How much comida did you have to eat that you didn't feel it was right to pay for something she wanted for her birthday? That to me was pretty jacked up, y'all. You know, that matches the food. Yeah, the green ring. I bet you that lady oh. she's gonna be like I bet she could she lost she lost cost. She lost about to, the food was really about to sit there and eat because Baker's saying like, Oh, I really want to eat this. I was like, all right, cool, let's oh, get it. Oh that is something bad. She wanted to eat there so bad and he said no because he was being a cheapo, El Ooh. Cheapo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that was that's sad. Ah, oh, Desmond, why you allow that shit? It's your birthday. It's the I bet thing. if it was his birthday, he would get what he want. It's the little things that count. told me to ask her because the reason why I asked her because she came back in with her food. Yeah, she came back in with her she food. She came back with her food, so I was peeping game. I was like, hold on, bro. She's it's her first and her last. Exactly. Time. And that right there was a red flag. So, so when I when I seen her. I said, let me just ask her, like, let me just ask you to see. Like, so I said, no, I said, what do you think about this place right here? I wouldn't have put this part in my Woman had no filter. Must I remind you, the lady at the register, the cash register, she was listening to everything the lady was saying. Because she wrote her eyes. I looked at her just to see what she would do. She lady at the register? Yeah, she wrote her eyes. Oh, yeah, she was mad. She was like, she I, mean, was I know she was privacy like this bitch. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, man, when I seen that, I was like, you know what, baby, let's, let's go. Fuck that, because I don't want to be disappointed. Like, who want to be disappointed off the food? Like, you paying for it, you want it the way you want it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we're going to go somewhere else. He was yeah. looking at this place across the street. Yeah, but I, I don't, don't want to go over there because it's shit. They don't got no crowd. You know, when when it's a crowd. I told you not everybody barbecue is the same. When, you, when it's a crowd, you know, it's good. I just, we just want to try something different. We don't want to get the same stuff that we have, of course, back at home because uh, they still we do. eat it at home. Uh, they still so go ahead, they went like, and ate the same thing. Enjoying each oh, other's time. To be completely honest. Mind. That's really what we're doing. I'm having fun with it. Y'all, we got these little shots, and I feel like it's 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 kind of getting to me. It is getting to me. A little bit. It is getting to me. Already. One hey, shot. Okay. I don't have any responsibilities as far as kids right now. Exactly. Even though I check the kids. So. But over. Where is it? We'll kill. Oh, I can't even think what I'm about to say. We'll update you. <laughs> Whenever we find a place. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're at La Marisquera. La Marisquera. That's what she said. Um, it's a seafood and oysters bar. And uh, yeah, we want to try something different, but you know, we was trying to find yeah, they eat place, tacos. I'm telling you, this is what Chris all kind of places, but that's what we are, and it looks it looks really good. So I'll show y'all the menu. I don't know what I want though. I don't know why it's so good. Yeah, I'm gonna get the grilled seafood tacos. I feel like this is what it is. No, that's that's for chicken, huh? 
They're at the hookah. Remember what happened around this time, y'all. Didn't weren't we seeing Philip and Hannah going to places like this, and then they went after, like you know, the same. I think we did. Yeah. And that's what she wanted to do is she wanted to please him any way she could. And he even said that this girl does stuff for me that I don't even ask. She just does it for me. And did he do that for you? You know what I mean? It's your hey, you Oh, he's drunk. Wait a minute. Man was feeling great. His homie must be there. He wasn't happy till then. The re the smoking part. Where was it? That's right here. Bad boy, bad boy. What do we want? I feel a chemistry. I'm glad she said I'm glad she said YouTuber because if she would have been like I'm a content creator she just barely started saying content creator y'all she used to say YouTuber remember Get them wings, Captain. Yeah. Um, so what, what's what do you recommend? Since you work here, that's good. I recommend the bottom, the fusion. Yeah, look how sexy my man is. He's so sexy. I'm lit. I ain't gonna lie. He's a big little bitch. He was that liquid. Damn. 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 She had her, all, her hands all around him. My baby is so sexy, so fine, and so sexy. Get them wings, Captain. I'm going to say about Pluto. My girl sent her for birthday. Uh, that's good. Why? I recommend the bottom, the fusion. Yeah, look how sexy my man is. He's so sexy. Wow. I'm lit. See, Jasmine, if you would have played a little bit, like not so like praising him so much, maybe he would have praised you too. I mean, or maybe not. I don't know. What do y'all think? She like overdid it. I think I still got more to go. I know it's a whole bottle, bro. Exactly. I got a little bit. You know, she maybe the lightweight, which is fine. I'm big dog. You feel me? Big dog. Hey. He's a big dog. I'm the big yeah, dog. Baby, we cannot tell her to do something. You know what I'm saying? She enjoying herself. She's loving it. You feel me? Uh, we're just joining this vibe, man. We had a great session with the hoop with my dog. You feel me? My baby, it's a big feeling. Did you see how you said that? He's trying to switch that up. I went and did hookah with my dog. Oh, and Jasmine, that was crazy. Oh, uh, we just joined this vibe, man. We had a great session with the hookah with my dog. You feel me? And my baby, it's the best feeling. I don't, I don't really fuck with people like that. You feel me? So it's just like, if I got her, she's my best, my BFF. <laughs> oh, you're wow. Wow. Love you too. You just looked at you as a being. I'm just saying she's my baby. 
Come on, wife. What's or you were going to propose, remember? Wearing the ring for you. Really good. We're wearing the wedding rings, y'all. That's the BFF ring. The BFF ring. Never be. Never, baby. Oh, yeah, I got notifications on. I ain't going to lie. That looks good. I ain't going to lie. That looks good. Oh, I'm loud. There goes like what the we are back at the hotel. Here's Look my food. And back. I am currently she's live and they're in a hotel room. Live would have been the last thing I would have done. I would and remember when she was going, I told you I go, she's done. I go, she's probably not gonna go live, she's probably gonna, you know, blog and then show us later. But no, she went live the whole time. The whole time she was live. The whole she time, was, baby, and then yeah, she did. Remember, Olivia told us she paid for everything. Be Olivia. live on extra guys and Chris. If you guys want to see that video where Olivia go follow that. your girl and Bay on extra guys and Chris. Oh. Boom, boom. Hey. <laughs> yeah, he in the bed. Yeah, they had to go to Starbucks. Yeah, just want to get up and get to moving around. But I really hope y'all are enjoying. Oh, Brit. That's so true. What the hell is happening? An ungrateful person, and I feel sorry for whoever you are with because I am grateful. I'm grateful for the smallest things like this. To me, it's bigger. And see, you saying that with him hearing you, he's going to give you the small things. You should have expected more things from him because, shit, I've never seen him give you nothing. But you gave him, you know. Oh, I, I'm satisfied. Yeah, it's great to be to be satisfied for the small things. It's great to be grateful for anything. Anything is fine. But you say that in front of him, he's gonna give you what you wish for. The small things, baby. Because I am grateful for the smallest thing. I'm grateful for. So basically, you're just trying to um, say i know my man can't get me nothing but i'm grateful for what he can do which is this even though i had to pay for it allegedly okay or cleaning the house like that's just me like so for the ones that got something to say all right shut that up. <laughs> oh, she's i'm happy that's okay that's i'm happy that's i enjoyed my weekend my kids are gone they enjoyed their weekend and for the ones saying that oh your kids are uh they never have fun with you my kids do have fun with me my y'all just see my kids with me all the time i'm the 24 7 custodial parent so you see them with me all the time but you're not anymore so why aren't you doing any more things with them because you you get them like what once a week or something there is so that means my kids right are, oh, you're, you're gonna, gonna see the ups see. and you're gonna see the downs as far as things with my family my kids and stuff so right. like why can't i just sit back and enjoy the Take vlogs area. all the vlogs on different on my channel on their dad's channel just sit back and enjoy all the content like i i'm just confused by some of y'all and y'all's decisions and y'all it's just crazy how she had to make a whole speech about the fact that it was a small thing you know it, it's like she should have just saved all that because at the end of the day, if you were satisfied and you were grateful for what you had, you shouldn't have to explain nothing, not a not a damn thing. You should have been like, you know what? I had a great time and I can't wait to do this again. You guys, I'll see you later. But you had to explain how he doesn't do much for you and you're grateful and you expect the small things like child. I was comments. I'm just like... <sighs> Why are you so mad? Why not just say See, that means that Polly bothers her that you know people said that and it was like whatever and she knows it. Cause yeah, if it she was knew me and someone like, oh that's it, I wouldn't have said nothing. I would I would have kept having my good old day. Oh, I wouldn't have said facts. nothing. I wouldn't have said shit. I would have been like if someone was talking shit like that's all they did, I wouldn't have said shit. But see, Jasmine, it bothers her, so she gotta say something, y'all. I mean, I get it. I get it. Because people are going to think what they fucking think no matter what. So why address it? It makes it seem like you're bothered. It seems like you're bothered. You're mad because maybe you expected something bigger. I don't know. It makes you seem bothered, Jasmine, though. Just enjoy yourself. 
I uh, couldn't have said it better. I'm myself. happy I got out. Y'all yeah. needed this time away. Y'all never really show this. Y'all showing us different content. I'm happy, but you're so miserable in your life. You decided you want to get on here. But see, Jasmundo had a great time, y'all. But she spent her whole vacation on live stream and filming her shit, right? She didn't get a chance to enjoy it. Shit, they were in fucking bed at night when they could have been, you know, having sex and shit. She was live the whole time. And he was talking about how she wanted, he wanted her to give him head and shit. And she's like, oh, I don't do that. You were live the whole damn time. Like, girl, enjoy yourself. Get a little bit of content, you know, for your channel so you can make a bag. But the rest of it, and, and don't get me wrong, I used to be the same way when I used to blog. I used to just everything. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not enjoying myself. So I'm going to just put a little bit out and enjoy the rest, you know, because she, she was live the whole time. Stuff but I ain't worried. But anyway, y'all. There you are. Yeah, she I'm in the hotel drop. Lobby. She went up. I know. She went up. It's it, really, really nice in here. I want to be part of the lobby because it's like more over there. Benjamin Franklin. But I'm waiting on Bay to come. I am kind of hungry. We, I ain't going to lie, y'all. We did not wake up for breakfast. We were both knocked out. Um, we literally woke up after breakfast. <laughs> so I think we're going to go get something to eat and head back to Austin. We have yeah, stuff we'll that we have to do it. at home, too. Oh, we're going to look at it. Let me see. Let me go down. And tossed around in situations. And once again, being lied on about shit that That's I true. supposedly said. And actually, let's go to that video without me showing it on here. Because I have it up. So let me stop sharing this. And let me go and get that one, you guys. How y'all doing this hot Taco Head Tuesday, baby? All right. Let me make it bigger. I look so crazy, y'all. Please don't come for me. Okay, I'm I'm not good. Good. I have a headache. And I just look a mess. Okay. And um I need a maintenance day. Okay. I need I need a full on maintenance day. I need a damn haircut. <laughs> I feel like a dude. Like no, I need a haircut. I feel like a dude. I need a haircut. I need to get my nails done. <sighs> Girl, I need to wax myself. I need a whole bunch of shit. Okay. But that's not the point of this life. <laughs> and then, like I said, think shit is sweet. Where, where? Yeah, you're right, Mimi. Like, you guys, I'm shaking. I'm literally shaking. <laughs> Why are you shaking? Because I'm like, I feel so like, I'm so sick of having, of letting people have, get me fucked up. Like, like, like make a fool out of me, pretty much, type shit. Um, and then, like I said, think shit is sweet, and you really think that you could call my phone after the fact. Like, that's freaking crazy to me. Like, am I really that much of a sucker to people? Like, people just look at me like a straight sucker? Like, is that what it is? Because it's crazy because people think a certain way about me on this internet, but obviously people who know me in real life, they take advantage, and they look at me like a sucker because of how people have come up on here and treated me. Yesterday, when I got off a live, I said a lot of things yesterday, right? I'm gonna read back your comments, you guys. I'm sorry. But my whole point of that, how people like see me cry. online is not the real me. Okay, I'm very loving, I'm very giving, I'm very understanding, I'm very trusting. Okay. But this year, I'm changing that about me. I'm not gonna befriend people because I befriend people, I really give my all to the person, whether it's a relationship, a friendship, like I go out of my way over and beyond for people who don't deserve it. That's just what it is. Obviously, they wouldn't do it for me do if we were in hot water together. They gonna fucking drown me, bitch, and, and look out for themselves. And that's just the way it goes. That's just the way it has been going. So, in a sense, I feel stupid. There was a lot of talk after I... Y'all, hold up. 
I just saw this in my inbox and I wanted to talk about it real quick. Fake beef. This is Livy Poop. Fake beef, girl, stop and enjoy your fake outing. You won't be getting another one of those in a minute. Leave me be. Oh, oh, enjoy your. Oh my God, I am so dramatic, y'all. I think what she was talking about right here with your fake outing, it either was when they went to Houston or when they went to go buy those shoes. I, in this video, say it's about Tiara and her going to the bar, but I really think it's about Chris and Jasmine. Because at this time, we didn't know shit was going crazy with Jasmine and Chris, you know? But I don't know. I, I really don't know what, what she was talking about. If you guys know in the chat, let me know. It's either with Chris in Houston or Chris taking her out to get shoes or Tiara. I really don't know. Fake outing. <laughs> Did you talking about when she went out with Tiara? Oh. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Watch. Jasmine, I'm too don't, excited. Don't do it, Jasmine. Don't. You said you, you washed your hands, girl. Don't fall back. <laughs> got off of my live people throwing, throwing around that word blackmail once again that's a way to make me look bad blackmail that's something you really say about a person who really out here scamming and scheming and shit you know what i mean that's a strong word blackmail that's a strong ass word you probably did no i showed it this i didn't see that till right now but she's talking about jasmundo was saying that you're trying to blackmail me with the um oh if you say something i'm gonna tell or whatever like she's saying that olivia's trying to control her with what she's i don't know with what she's saying or something like that right is that what she's talking about y'all heard i've heard that word in a minute I'm blackmailing somebody because I said keep your mouth shut and if you speak on me, you know what it is. That's, that's not, not blackmail. That's, that's not blackmailing anybody. If I wanted to speak on somebody's business and expose people, I would do that. But obviously, you see, people aren't listening and they have selective hearing. I said, I'm not going to talk about your personal business because that's not my place. And I believe that I said that from the jump. But yeah. I said that from the, the first the first initial live Let me say I did. this. If this is fake, if this is fake, and she's saying that she was worried about about Jasmine's situation, and if there is something going on over there, and you knew about it, and you did not call them police, or you did not call someone to make sure something is being done over there, it's going to fall back on your conscience that oh. you did not do nothing. I'll tell you one thing. If, if my friend this happened yeah this was when she had just cut her hair remember and then she said oh and she was sitting on the bed and she's like i'm so scared for my friend and like i don't think she said jasmine's name but we knew who she was talking about she's like i'm afraid for her life and i'm afraid for her and that's how all this shit went down remember and if i hear something on the phone I'm going to do something about it because I love them and I love the kids. I'm gonna say I'm gonna send I will send a cop over there to to stop to get him out of the house. The panels talking about me, people were talking about me, but not talking about me, being subliminal. Like, but you wanna come on my live yesterday and say, Why am I talking about you? Why am I talking about you? You've been talking about me for days. I had no idea about this. I had no idea. Yeah, you did. None. I've been getting messages, but I haven't been like even bothering with that shit because I got so much shit going on in my personal life. So why am I talking about you? But you've steady talking about me when you could. And, and this is why I didn't want to deal with you initially, because when you got on that shit, you really showed your true colors. I don't care if we're in public, if we're on the Internet. Oh, I know what she's talking about. If we're... Where, is she talking about when 
Chris and Jasmundo went on that other live on another reactors panel. And Chris said, well, if my son loved playing football, I would never miss a practice or some shit like that. Yeah, I remember that. For the phone? I knew that made her mad. If a bitch comes at me and Chris, you don't fuck up when you said that because that was game over for you, buddy. She's going to come out <laughs> swinging. Call yourself my sister and my friend and whatever the fuck you call me. And you don't go hard on that bitch. Like, I will go hard for you. Like, but see, that goes down to like ass kissing and you want to be liked. It's like, who gives a fuck if a bitch likes you? I'm your actual friend. Like, I'm your friend. True. I'm. That's true. <laughs> this shit is exhausting. And that's why I didn't want to deal with that person in the first place. You're exhausting. You want to talk about draining? I don't, that's crazy to me. Anyway. And it's just everything that came after that, you know, and we're going to talk about it because people don't understand what the real issue is. And let's get the lights up. Can we get the lights oh, up? Oh, Lordy. Do I have to fast forward this? Did I not? I think I do anyway. Expect such loyalty. You know what I mean? Because people expect it out of me, but in different ways. You know what I mean? In different ways. Maybe I want you to go hard if a bitch come for me because, yeah, I would do that for you. But it's like, not only that, you because know. you expect loyalty from me when you pick up that phone and you ask me for some money, right? Mm -hmm. That's a, that's a sense of loyalty from a friend to a friend. If you need money, and I'm not trying to throw this in nobody's face, but if yeah, you need something, are. you hit me up, right? And I was there for you. If you needed food, simple things like food. I sent groceries to your house, did I not? When that nigga couldn't put groceries in your fridge, I put groceries in your fridge, right? So for me to want you to be like, fuck a bitch, when I say fuck a bitch and we ride out together, that's not too much to ask when I'm filling up fridges and, and blending you money and being there. You feel me? Shit. So that's why I took it seriously, but I really kind of didn't because I wasn't showing no aggression or like me being upset or anything. I just fell back. That's it. I just fell back. The next day she called me, did she call me, whatever. And I just didn't want to talk no more because I saw you for who you were. I was like, you know what? She really don't fuck with me. And I'm not saying you got to cuss everybody out and beef with everybody because of me, but the bitch blatantly said, and that's why you're a horrible ass mother. Like that bitch really disrespected me. You know what I mean? And right in front of you, even though it was on the internet, but it was right in front of you. And you didn't say, fuck you, bitch, and write out. But you still on the shit a couple of days ago, still talking about me. This weird ass bitch that's interviewing you is, is asking questions about me. And you can't be like, you know what? Stop asking. Like, you don't run your own interviews, then you? Like, you can't be like, no, I'm not talking about that. I heard you try to dance around it. But you can't be like, stop asking me about that girl, period. What do you think? They're going to. I heard you dance around it. So see, Livunda was, remember I said yesterday, I think she was listening to everything in the background, but a reactor showed her to go to her live. Liv has been watching. She watched everything. She watched, she's watching right now. She watches everything. She's not, she likes to keep up with the shit. So she was in the live watching. She was watching, seeing what Jasmine was saying. She was seeing what Jasmine, so what Jasmine out about her she wanted to see what jasmine was gonna do that's behind the scenes if you ever want to talk but i don't really want to be internet friends or whatever the fuck, because it just wasn't a good look anymore it wasn't a good look for me because when the fuck when the kitchen got hot bitch you bounced the fuck out of there you were like okay well you know what you would rather be liked than real and i don't like that shit so um that's what i told her and i told her some real shit about how i felt about my kids situation you know and that was it. And then boom, what do I got my phone? I'm sorry, or some bullshit. I apologize, or some shit. And here she goes. And I also, I didn't want people to think I gave a fuck about the panel, because I didn't give a fuck. I gave a fuck about what she did, her actions, her amount of no loyalty. But I didn't give a fuck about that panel, bitch. I have people talking shit about me every day. Like, an irrelevant ass bitch with not even a thousand subscribers, you think I give a fuck? I don't give a fuck. You're irrelevant, just like others are. So that wasn't the problem. The problem was like how she was on that shit. But honestly, truly, you guys, and I'm gonna read your comments back. Honestly, truly, I wasn't even, if y'all think I'm being childish or whatever the fuck y'all think, get the fuck off my live. It's that simple. Exit out. Okay. You're still here watching childish shit. What's up, Nelly? Anyway, um, I wanted to be not tied to her anymore. So the fact that she went on live, and I said that, I said, just don't talk about me on live. And then boom, five minutes later, she's on live apologizing to me. I didn't ask her to fucking apologize to me. 
I'm like, what the fuck? Now you're trying to act like I had a problem and you need to apologize. Like, you don't read into shit, bro. Anyway, oh my God. The apology came to rent, girl. And whatever. I was still around. I was still, deal- I was still dealing with her because went left, shit went fucking left, okay? I'm, oh. So, yes, I cared about somebody, so I was there. That's what real bitches do. And so he got my number from her, and he thought he could call me and text me about situations. I'm cool, okay, fine, whatever. I'm trying to talk sense into her, I mean, into him. Chris? See, what really got to me yesterday, what really fucking irritated me, is she had the nerve to say, when she was reflecting, she really thought, she was sitting there, and she actually kicked her mouth and said, I would ask her. And see, I'm talking about this because you, you brought this up. You brought this up saying that you were you were reflecting on the Chrissy stuff and all this extra shit. Girl, shut up. Anyway, she was saying that. She was like, you know what? Did she want us to fight? Every every couple of days she would call me asking me, are you okay? Like, did she want me? Did I want you to fight? Did I want that nigga to fight you? That's what you're asking yourself. After I, I sit on the phone for hours trying to de-escalate situations, wasting my time. Do you- Yo, and she's talking about how Chris would call her and Jasmine because they would, she was like the moderator for them, or how do you call it? When the the person in the middle that tries to stop the fights, you know, like tries to talk people out of fighting and being mad, the mediator. She was like the mediator of them too because they would call like at three four in the morning fighting yana like loud and she said she'd be on the phone with them for hours fighting and that jasmine said does she want us to fight some type of shit like that i think that's what she was saying but that is nuts you don't understand how valuable people's time is like you play with people's time bro did i want y'all to fight no it got to a point where the shit was happening every other fucking day. My friend calling me, texting me about a situation. So yeah, when it would go like a week or two weeks and there was no situation, I'm like, so he's not fucking, he's not like, he's not doing nothing? Like, y'all been good? And she's like, yeah. Limundo, that does sound kind of weird to me. Like, can you imagine, let's say, let's say um, Shara, let's say Shara calls me and tells me her business with, with her and her man. And, and then I'm over there like weeks later, I'm like, oh, Shara, is, is he still fighting with you? Is he still is he still doing that? Like, why would you ask that? Why would you? Well, she said the reason why she asked that, Erika, is because she was tripping. Because Jasmine, Jasmine probably called her all the time. Oh, Chris left. Chris left and Chris was fighting with me. And, and then like they're good for a week. And she's like, wait, I haven't heard nothing. But I wouldn't have asked. I don't think I would have been like, are you guys good? You guys aren't fighting? I would have just left it alone. But see, Olivia. <laughs> Olivia's going to be Olivia, y'all. You ask, is he is he okay? Is he still fighting with you? Like that, like. She probably was. Why would you wise. ask that question? How would Liv Mundo feel if they asked her that question? Oh, are you still are you still fighting? Are you in Gerard? But you gotta see it this way too. You gotta see it this way too. Um Jazz Mundo, we I didn't know they were fighting like that. I wouldn't have known ever if, if Olivia didn't come out here and say this, I would not have known that they were fighting like every other day there was an argument there was a fight he was be leaving that's why he probably always had his backpack on and she'd be in the car crying in the middle of the night looking for him and shit like i didn't know it was that deep that is crazy so let me know in the chat you guys do you agree that at first chris and jasmine were good lovey dovey but then when she announced she was with child that's when shit went downhill between them and it wasn't even that bad yet until Derry was born that's when we started seeing punches on the refrigerator punches on the walls and the doors and that's when we started seeing wax on the walls so shit got real once she got i think once she got pregnant because i don't think he really did not want to have another child and i'm not saying he doesn't care for his son because of course he does but 
he for some reason he did not want to be tied to Jasmunda like that. Are still fighting? I don't blame him. Did he still push you or did he did he punch you? Like why would you ask that question? It's like he's getting it together. He's trying to be a better man for you. Cause I was trying to. Get, I already knew bitch was gonna leave him. She was not gonna leave him. But at least I wanted him to be better. How come this sound goes off right there? How to walk away with her children, not deal with that bullshit. Wait, but it was appreciated. Exit strategy. It oh. And obviously that's her right now. She can't see nothing but him. And that's fine. I'm 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 look at honey. I don't know what your mods or what people on your side are telling you. I'm not jealous. I've been in an unhealthy, I've been in a lot of unhealthy relationships. So I understand why people are like, well, how can Olivia talk? She's been through blah blah blah. You're right. So since I've been through it and I've lived through it, I didn't want to see another woman go through it, especially a woman that I fucked with. You know what I mean? Like I'm talking about, we were talking about ex exit strategies. I was trying to put her up on game about everything how to walk away with her children, not dealing with- But you know how she says that? I was trying to show her how to walk away without her son, you know, with her son. I don't think Chris would, I think he would threaten her with that, but I really don't think he would have done that, you know? What do you guys think? Let me know in the chat. That bullshit that wasn't appreciated because it would be so intense and it would be so bad one day and the next day it's like nothing happened and it's like cool fine i get that because i've been through it i understand how that happens it's like do you not give a fuck about how i'm feeling about this whole situation like because in, in the next oh. week you'll call me talking about okay i get it i get it i get it i'm gonna okay i see why she's asking her that at first i thought it was weird but that is true one minute they'll be ah, fighting. Yeah. The next minute, oh, Bay's gonna do this, and Bay, oh, Bay, 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 this. So I get it, cause I remember when we were reacting back then, and I told you, I bet you Olivia trips out when she sees Jasmundo acting all like lovey dovey with Bay and everything after they had a big ass fucking fight and shit. You know what I mean? Like she'll be calling Olivia, oh yeah, he did this and that, this and that. And then the next video you see, she, they're all like lovey dovey eating out somewhere and at a restaurant or doing something. You know what I mean? Like not lovey dovey because they're never lovey dovey, but she's out there praising him and and saying Bay's doing this and Bay's doing that. Yeah. Situation with losing the kid. Damn, I talk so much, y'all. Jasmine decides to go live because she hears all this shit. She asked for me speaking on you and this and that's about I got messages and they said that you're blind. You're you're dumb. You're sitting here going by what a fucking reactor said to you. And right here, it was told to me that right here her water was turned off. I don't know if that's true or it was was off, but now it's on. But that's what was told to me that her her water was off right here. I really don't know because she didn't say nothing, so I don't know. Oh, you're so what well, reactor bro. said what to her? Leave and remember, on. Chris is in okay. the back. Chris is in the back barbecuing. He wants no parts of this live stream. Leave me the fuck alone, because bitch, you're sitting here doing too much. Now you're doing too much. I tried to sit here and it was like she's scared. I'm not scared. It's just whenever you was when you friends with people, you talk to people. Hold on. She can't show bay, y'all. When you're friends with people, you talk to people. You know what I'm saying? You tell people other shit. It has nothing to do about Chris and nothing. I just don't trust people no more. I lost trust. The fact that you got on here and did what you did, I didn't talk to you. Who gives a fuck? People fucking argue. People fucking argue. Who gives a fuck at this point? People argue, people, but you know what? That's why I was stupid and I thought that I could talk to you. I was dumb as fuck. Once I thought I was dumb talking to you. I'm so sick of you speaking on me, bro. I'm so sick of you speaking on me. Leave me the fuck alone. Like, you on here about your side and da, da, da. For what? You came to YouTube. You didn't, you talk about I was worried about you. Olivia was not. You didn't, you didn't call me. You didn't text me. Nothing. I heard, I heard from you what? Later on, on YouTube. I think it's the same reason why Chris can't be there when when the Davis Four are there. Because notice when they're gone, he he's showing himself. Ain't that weird? Like, bro, leave me the fuck alone. Just so oh, you really, you're out of pocket for getting on here. Just flat out lying, saying I'm on. I don't give a I said I'm gonna speak on your ass. That's what I said. And for you to talk, about, and you know what's so funny? 
What's funny is Chris knows you're live and you do this for work and he don't take Stinkabug outside to, you know, give you a little break. You know what's so funny? You keep, you, you trying to make it like you a victim. I mean, it's all Jasmine. She started. Bro, and the whole thing with Chris, yeah, we called you because you blocked my fucking phone. Because I'm just like, bitch, why is you doing all this? You decided to block him and you put it up on Instagram. What? Is Jerome Jazzy? And then to make like this man watch you. Stop doing this shit, bro. Move the fuck around. Focus on your content, okay? Leave me the fuck alone. Like, damn, that shit is draining. You talk about draining? You talk about, Jasmine, you're draining. That's why I stopped talking to you. Bitch, don't get on here lying and acting like we ain't ever sat there. You, yeah, friends do it. They sit there and they talk to each other uh, about shit that bothers them. Bitch, don't act like you ain't sat there and had me sitting there talking to you and uh, boosting your ass up. Don't fucking do that, bro. Everybody got problems. Everybody goes and talks to their friends about certain things and they vent to them. But you know what? You was obviously never a fan. Do you hear me on here talking about your fucking anything? Do you hear me lying about you? Do you hear me on here telling all kind of uh, bullshit about you? No. I don't say shit about you. I don't speak about nothing. I don't speak about your kids. I don't speak about none of that shit. Only thing I ever said about your fucking kids yesterday was let's keep it respectful. I delete. And I said, one thing I don't do is talk about kids. That's another thing I fucking said. And I deleted comments. Don't play me. You coming on here trying to play me like I'm a fool. Trying to, I'm so hurt. Man, fuck that hurt shit, bro. Because you know what? You are selfish. You selfish. You're really fucking selfish. You're really selfish. Like you, so you acting like it's uh, something else, but it's not. And it's so annoying because it's like, you talk about you a real friend? A real friend would pick up the goddamn phone and call me. Jasmundo, she was mad at you, babe, because you were on another panel when you have subscribers of your own. And they were, it's the same situation as you were mad at Chrissy for being in Kel's live because people were dragging you and, and Chrissy was just there saying hi to everybody in the chat. She wasn't even saying nothing about you. She not said one word about you. She might have probably made a laughing emoji, but that's about it. But you got very angry and you started talking shit. That's the same thing Olivia was doing to you. She was mad because you were on a panel and they were saying stuff about her and you were like, uh, 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 uh. Instead of just getting off the live, you, you stayed on there. And then Chris said that thing about, oh, well, if my son was in football, I would have Like that, right there, him saying that, it was bets were all off. She was, she was gonna drag them. It was over, baby. He didn't call her on no kind of bullshit. We were sitting there together. Whenever that phone call was cooking, we were sitting there together because we wanted to see what the fuck is going on. She said chicken. Problem, because the thing about me and him and how we move is just like, bro, we're not gonna keep going back and forth on social media because that shit is draining and it's it's petty. Like, say what you gotta say to my face. You know what I'm saying? Say what you got to say to my face. And, oh, uh, bro, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. She didn't want, I, I think she didn't want a fake beef because she knew Chris would be brought up and she doesn't want y'all to think of him like that. Yeah, it's a baby. So they got a real was that my baby? She was just wanted to say, hey, y'all. Hey, and that was it. And people were talking shit. Oh, look, Miss Nini says it right here. She was she was saying this, but still mad when Chrissy was on Kel's chat. Exactly. And Chrissy didn't say not one word. And she's like, oh, you didn't stick up for my honor. See? You didn't stick up for me. Why are you in her life when she talk about me? Oh, la, la. I said that. But you just did the same thing with your own mod. Your own mod was talking shit about Olivia. Really effed up. Chrissy fell out with you because she didn't like the way he was treating you and the way he was treating the kids. She said she heard them yelling at the kids. Friends. Let me know the movie, y'all. I don't know. I'm trying to look. You can tell Chris don't have a job. They haven't seen each other in two months. That's what I'm made up. And she's like, well, I want to go out with my friend. And he's like, okay, go ahead. Because he wants to know to get back into the back into the what is what does he do in your house i think i'm done with this one 
but those times are crazy y'all let me see i think i got a message about something right now so let me get i think i have one more to share and i'm gonna start posting on my other channel y'all i got to i don't really post over there Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah. Check this one out, y'all. This will be a good finale. <laughs> Beef ribeye steak. Now, hey guys, the reason why... Dinner. Damn! Jasmine, the reason why I wanted to show this one was because someone had showed me her Instagram where she was like, I'm going to learn how to barbecue myself. And I'm going to do my own barbecue. And I was like, oh, baby, nobody invited you to no barbecue for Labor Day or nothing. Oh, man. Well, I'll make your own. So she was barbecuing all kinds of stuff. And she was probably reminiscing about when, you know, when Bay was barbecuing. You know, when Bay did it. Well, this is why you ain't got no food snaps at the end of the month. Oh, Lordy. This is why you don't got no food snaps at the end of the month. And you don't tell me you don't get food snaps, girl. You every six of the month, this is coming up. And I'm pretty sure she did a haul already. Ooh. -wee. Out tremendously with recording. My phone just, you know, I dropped it and it stopped working, which is sad. Ooh. But, you know, I'm not. And then, and then they're making all this food while the kids are with Philip. Why couldn't you make this food when all the kids are home? They could all enjoy it with food as well. I uh, um, used her phone and Chris also used his phone. I am so glad that she did not try to blame the internet. Well, she can't blame the internet for breaking the phone. She oh, she's talking about, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is when she got a new phone because her phone was broken. Remember? I wonder how it broke. Actually, she she actually took accountability and said, I broke my phone. I broke No, it. she didn't. But I doubt she broke it from a fucking tripod and it fell. That's not going to break in pieces like that. Girl, you know how many times I dropped my fucking phone on the ground and I have concrete. You know how many times I dropped it face first, backwards? It's never broke. What have an auto on wood? Never broke. So that, that looked like something that was thrown crazy you must have thrown the fuck out of that phone for it to be like that and help record today's that video it was frustrating phone. but like i said it's better to have something than nothing at the at this point but uh first of all this is labor day weekend we just oh. kicked it at home with the family and this was labor day Someone told me too, they're like, Erica, Jasmine I did not, I guess Kaylin asked her mom, what is, what, what is um, Labor Day? And she didn't even know what it was. Ciao. And, you know, chilled, had a good barbecue. We haven't barbecued in so long because y'all know it's been 100 plus degrees out here in Texas. Okay. So, yeah, at this what does that got to do with anything? 100 degrees. You know, when it gets dark, you can barbecue. We've been barbecuing this whole time. Yeah, I got an OtterBox. OtterBox is the best. If you guys want the best case, OtterBox. It's the best. But so she won. So she won. Did she say this was Labor Day? Or was this yesterday? It was Labor Day. At this point, Chris is recording. I had to tell him you're recording upside down. That's why I look like that, you guys. <laughs> It's okay. It happens, but Please I was grateful help. for it anyways. I just kept the footage and just told him to flip the camera. And then Amaya ended up coming in and started recording him because Oh, so Bay and Amaya are recording for her because her camera is broken. So when she was done, she got her little microphone that she got, you know, the mic. And she's like, Hey guys, the Chris is over there. You know what I mean? So there you go. <laughs> There you go. I'm glad you were helping her, Chris. About damn he time. He was struggling to record time, as well as his phone died. So Amaya came in and recorded on her phone as well, as y'all can see. And I'm holding the, bo the bowl. So baby girl is part of this. Look, a family that works together, stick together, and that's all that matters. Hey. <laughs> 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 
Me going inside of the damn disposal. Thank you, baby. I could be right. I Shout out. Let's go about Everything us. Everything right here. Uh, Don't give them no time. Oh, the there. kids were there. The kids were there. My bad. The kids were there, y'all. I take that back. How we up? But you stay down. Real nigga from the app. I don't know the difference. Nine. Nine. What is take out? He's on cloud nine because Chris is home and he's making his food. They probably, and if they play dominoes, he's wearing a white t-shirt. He's not wearing a red shirt. So your picture don't match. Ooh. Don't match. Damn, it's ten o'clock. Well, what time is it? It's ten o'clock. I got my jump. You're time. cooking at ten p.m. The kids had to wait till ten p.m. to get food, girl. 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 Think about it. we are leaving. Then I gotta go pick up groceries. I'll film another video over on my guys' sub life. I have groceries to pick up, and I'm gonna do. And I have to do a I'm doing a shop with me as well. So y'all gonna get a couple of videos today do one. Okay, we got a first few things we gotta run. Um I'm just gonna combine it with yesterday. So let's go. Get up, baby. Okay. Okay. All right, yeah. So metro. is Metro going good, to Metro to get a new phone? Remember the whole time she was crying that her phone was broken. But the back part was still working, right? The back part, you could still, you know. You can't hear me, baby? When I say the back part, I mean the back camera, y'all. You know I can't talk for shit. But is Metro a good phone service? Because I see it's by T-Mobile. I'm looking for a new, um, I got Verizon. And I'm looking for a new um, phone person. Like, Can y'all hear me? Phone company carrier. Can you hear me? Can y'all hear me? Yes, I hear you, girl. Was this a payment plan? You know, when you go and you take in, you can upgrade, do an upgrade. And when you do an upgrade, do they require a payment up front? Because if you had not paid off your phone, you got to pay off your phone. They don't do payment plans at Metro? Because with Verizon, in order for me to upgrade, I have to pay my phone off. My phone is paid off. I can go get me an upgrade right now. And what I can do is I could trade my 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 iPhone 11. I could trade it in, and it'll take some money off towards my payment on my new phone. And I still have my iPhone 11. I'm trying to upgrade, y'all. <laughs> Seriously. That's how mines work, the phone you want. Oh, so she have to pay off the broken phone. Cause I know she ain't, she probably didn't get no insurance for that phone. So, In order to- But some places they take your phones as is, right? I don't know. Upgrade, you have to pay, who knows? Troll, um, I was able to upgrade my phone. And you know what? When I seen Stinkabug had his ponytail like that, I knew Chris was not around because he would not allow that. Remember she said he wouldn't allow her to have his hair like that. So I don't think, I think Chris broke her phone, her camera and did, and broke Mama Duke's camera and did. And um, so I can get this one. 
six. Oh, Olivia. Oh, six. Eight. Terry looked just like Jasmine, y'all. So she says she got an upgrade and she still has her broken phone. So she still got, she didn't trade her phone and she still got the broken phone. And she says she could fix it and have two phones. I, but what you know what I think? I think she has Chris's phone and she probably upgraded nope. his phone and still has his old one so she could take over his old one and she's going to give him the new one. He got a 14. He probably, I don't even know though because I don't think Chris is there, but who knows? He got an iPhone 14 and now she got an iPhone, what does he have? 12 or 13? Um, one, one for AGB, one so for So now I'm not recording on my phone. I'm recording on my phone now. I got two phones. One for AGB, one for the lawn dairy. Oh, not lawn dairy. Kaylin's phone works. Yeah, I think Kaylin has an actual phone. Because remember she went. And it's my watch is wrong. CPS is here. She has to see my son to <gasps> close her case. So I'm a little irritated about that too. Yeah, I feel like I'll just be to have Wait, to what? See, I'm going to just be real. Honest. Y'all going to. Hold up. Wait, what happened? Because the one I seen, she was scanning the food with a broken phone. She didn't even show going in the store in this one. Maybe it's the other video. Because I think she put another video up on her other channel. We'll see right I'm now. I'm real honest of what's going on in my life. And this is what's going on. So I'm going to get him. Wake him up out of his nap. And get my baby. So what if... Now, this is just an assumption, you guys, okay? What if the lady came to check on the kids because her and Chris got into a fight and he's gone and her phone was broken, you know what I mean? Because why would she's trying to say CPS is there because a YouTuber is calling on her. But I think it's because her and Chris were fighting. The neighbors could have called the cops. Y'all let me know what y'all think. This has to be seen, which is weird. She has to show dairy. Show my baby real quick. Well, hold up. Because she said it was it was unexpected so how would you know jasmine though an unexpected visit means you're over there hey guys hey how y'all doing <laughs> who's that hold on you guys oh, that's God. unexpected <laughs> it seemed like you were expecting someone to come because if now that's facts because look at the title unexpected wait unannounced for legendary cps pops up to my house unannounced for legend that's the title cps come pops up does a pop-up unannounced but yet she's like i gotta get there unless she already answered the door i think that's what she did i think she answered the door and they asked so then she went and grabbed her camera and said oh you guys i gotta show dairy so maybe she did pop up maybe it was a pop-up and she goes, hold on, let me get him. She went and got her phone instead. And then she's like, hey, guys, this is my life. I got to go. CPS is here. I don't have that. You know what I mean? That's what I think happened. I think she did pop in. But Jasmine, of course, had to go grab her phone and tell the world. You know what I mean? Because she wants everyone to believe that Chris, I mean, not Chris, that the internet called. If it was unexpected, you would have been filming and they would have been knocking. That's when you like, who is that? Why you did it's like she's been she, look, yeah. I ain't showing them shit. I ain't gonna show them nothing. Remember? Oh yeah, she the did lady was live. live saying you weren't gonna show your kids. She did a live saying if CPS comes to my house one more time, I'm not showing them shit. But yet, you know, we see this. <laughs> and that was Remember, oh, you you know what I just thought about? She was live the other day and said the lady was coming the next day. Remember? Remember the lady was coming the next day? I bet this is what it was. The lady that came the next day. Because remember, she was live and then she privated that video. Well, she tried to. I mean, we all got, like, Love Lies has it. I, I have got emails of it. Where she said, I am not going to cooperate with them. I ain't showing them shit. I ain't going to show them nothing. Remember? The lady was supposed to come the next day. I think this is it right here. The lady coming the next day. Let me see. She didn't invite them inside. Nothing. Yeah, see, there's that lady. She's 
notice she's wearing the same clothes that she wore the last time she came. The lady came last time, remember? She was wearing the same, the, the shoes. If you go back to the other one, it seemed like it's a caseworker to me. She's lying, CPS went to the school to see the other kids and went to the house to see Derry. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, for sure. She, she, she knows, she knows what this is. She's like, can I take a picture? See, I think her and Chris got into it really bad. That's why they had to come see Legend. Because why didn't, maybe they went and saw the kids at the school and they came and saw Legend at the house. Because remember, she was saying that, oh, they're interrupting my kids' school time because they're going to their school because people are, uh, reactors are calling. No, I think her and Chris got into it, y'all. Okay, I'll reach out to you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, she'll be back another day because that's her routine. Yes, outside, you see the broke all those hooks right there? The kids, the kids probably did, yeah. Why would she show up in flip flops? Because she's she's a regular caseworker. They they're gonna come dress how they dress. It's hot. You would think they'd get all dressed up, but I guess they don't. Uh -oh. When we was out, we kept pulling in. But I gotta put all these groceries away. Chris is booty. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It wasn't really long. It was kind of just all over the place, but. All right, we're going to take my time to tell my life. All right. Well, this is when she, okay, let me see when she scanned the phone with her, um, her broken phone. Oh, there's her broken phone. Remember she said just the back, the back camera worked? She's using the front camera. There was times when she said just the back camera worked so she couldn't read the comments, but then she would say just the front one worked. Like she would switch it off. So yeah, I remember we're, we were all talking about this back then. Oh my God, shame on y'all. Cause you, if you don't see it the way we see it, oh my Lord, I knew that. I knew she was gonna do that, y'all. What? That camera's gonna work when she what? Now her front, now her front screen can work, you guys. So see, <laughs> you can't make this shit up. She said, "Oh, you guys, when I went, the lady did something, and now my front screen worked." You should have went to the lady from the jump. I told you, stick your phone to itunes and re freaking store that shit. if i would have fixed it but then you went and threw your phone to make it break now she said her front camera work oh my and you know what i thought she was gonna do this after their birthday you guys <laughs> can use your phone you don't need yeah i talk too much whose phone did you upgrade it was hers. Oh, not got two. I mean, right here, it kind of looks cracked. Right here, it's dented. Who knows, y'all? Screen started working. So, no. my screen can work a little bit. She did something to it. I don't know what she did, but nice. Let's see if I can try to scan it. She turned it on. Yeah. <laughs> the lady turned it on and it worked. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't working. Wait, right. she did scan and go so people will not notice that she used food stamps. Which one is it? Who's me? It worked. 
this word. Hallelujah. No, um, the cover. The cover of the phone. What's that shit called? <laughs> phone cover. We ain't about to be standing up there this whole time. Girl, go to the cashier. You slower than the fucking slow. Damn. You can use it there. Damn. All right, y'all. I'm about to dip up out of here. I, I, I got to go. I'm going to do another one of old videos, like, you know, having fun on my other channel. We'll put it up on the, on the Mundo Fam channel, the other one. And this one's going to go on the Eric's. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you're still here this long, thank you guys for rocking with me. Thank y'all for chilling. And, you know, I like going through the videos that I, that I know she probably privated. I'm still looking for that one I was talking about. So if you guys can help me out and try to find it, that'd be amazing. Let me know if a reactor has it. I, I know I have it because I react to her every freaking day. But I don't know where that one is. So I love you guys. You have an amazing, beautiful Taco Head Tuesday. And I will see you mañana, baby. Exacto mundo, baby. And I peep. I'm going to try to go fuck with her baby daddy. And I peep that bitch. I already wanted that nigga. You can say what the fuck you want, bitch. I know you want him. Bitch, because you know what the fuck you did to me, bitch, and you wanted it. I know you wanted it. You wanted it, but nobody going to taste that funky ass pussy. No one's going to taste it, ho. No one's going to taste it. Take a fucking bath. Hey, 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 Four kids by a pimp? Oh Lord. Exacto baby. Love you more. Mommy, I love you. Love you more.